Good morning. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I hope you have a chance to join on with me for the very first uh, coffee and morning message with Andrew Green. I'm excited about this. I've been asked several times, uh, especially over the last year or two, if I would start doing something consistently in the mornings. And I know that if you're like me, you need a little bit of pick-me-up in the morning as you get ready to start your day. Uh, you're getting ready for work. You're getting the kids off to school. There's so many things going on in the morning. And so hopefully you're like me. You've got your coffee. I need lots and lots of coffee. So I hope you've got yours, tea, whatever it is. Pick your poison, as they say. But I really do. I want to be able to encourage you guys in the morning. I'm going to do my very best to bring you a morning message every single morning around this time. Um, you know, one of the things that I have, I've learned over the years is the enemy likes to attack you at the end of the day and the beginning of the day. Now, don't get me wrong. The enemy is attacking us 24-7, 365, right? But it seems like he really wants to hinder us. Uh, in our sleep at night and in the morning as we get started because if he can interrupt your day, right, then he can interrupt everything that goes on throughout your day. He can mess with your joy. He can get you off your peace. He can ultimately just suck the life and be a real joy knock in your day all, all day long, right? But I want to encourage you with something real quick. If you got a second, I want to read this to you. It's one of my favorite verses. I've even got it wrote in here in my Bible and highlighted. And it's Proverbs uh, chapter 3, uh, starting verse 5. And I want to read this to you. It's one of my favorite verses. And it, and it has, honest to goodness, got me through so many days uh, to where I just felt like, man, I don't know if I'm going to make it through today. I, I don't know if I can deal with that boss. I don't know if I can deal with that coworker. I get it. And this verse has helped me so many times. Listen to this. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not to thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Man, listen, let me tell you, I know that sometimes we get up and through the hustle and the bustle and all the things that are pulling on us, you know, we're working desperately to gain a, a, a paycheck to pay our bills and you know, the enemy wants to throw a hundred things at us. And if we're not careful, uh, we'll start off our day on the wrong foot. We'll get out and we'll try to just rush, 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 rush to get the kids off, rush to get to work, uh, rush to, to, to snag a little bit of a breakfast if you can. So whatever the case. And what happens is we get so caught up in what we're doing and we get so distracted that we forget to trust in the Lord. And what we do is we put our trust in ourselves. And let me explain that to you. What does it mean to trust in yourself? Well, you trust in yourself to get yourself to work. You trust in yourself to clock in, to clock out, to go through your day, to fulfill your, you know, your task. Whatever it is that you've got on your plate that has been set before you today, if you're not careful, you'll trust in yourself to fulfill that and do that yourself. And, you know, we try to do things within our own strength and end up getting off track, getting off, getting off the course or the path, as the Bible says. And so what we do is we, we start our day off wrong. And so... I have made it a habit, and it's probably one of the things that I that I am confident that I do consistently, uh, where there's a lot of things that I don't, but one thing that I do is I pray, and I do, I pray constantly, uh, but I have a prayer that I say before I ever leave the driveway, and I pray God's hand of protection over myself and over my family. I put my trust, as Proverbs 3, 5 says, trust in the Lord with thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding. See, my own understanding would be I'm in a car that's safe, I've got my seatbelt on, and I trust in myself in this car to get me to work. But the fact is, the enemy has obstacles set before us today. It could be that, that angry driver, that one that's in a hurry, or maybe it's you, you're, you're in a hurry and you're, you forgot to tell your husband or your wife something, and you look down at your phone and you text, and before you know it, boom, the enemy takes you out, you're in a collision, or just whatever. And I mean, I know that could be worst case scenario, but the fact is, I consistently, every time before I leave the house, I pray. When I get in the car, I pray. And I plead the blood of Jesus over my family, whoever's in the car with me and myself. And I say, Father, I pray, God, that you protect me. And, Lord, I even pray that you protect anyone and everyone that is around me. 
both lanes, in front and behind. And I put my trust and my confidence in God because I don't want to lean to my own understanding. I don't, I don't want to acknowledge myself and all the things that I'm doing today. I want to trust in the Lord. And I want his hand of protection and his blessing upon me. And if you look at Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with thine heart. You literally take your heart and you say, Father God, I'm putting my kids in your hands. I'm putting my husband, my wife in your hands. I'm putting my family, my friends, my job, that boss that gets on my everlasting nerves. I'm that coworker that's just really picking at you or just working you too hard, whatever. That boss, that that superintendent, that that advisor, whatever, the supervisor. You say, Father, I just put it all in your hands. And God, I trust. I trust in you, Lord. And listen, and I acknowledge you in all of my ways. And Father, I trust that you will direct my path today. Because listen, the Bible says that God has a, he has a plan for you. That's what the Bible says. It says, he says, Jesus said, God said, I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you, not plans to bring you any harm. See, the enemy wants to bring you harm today. The, the enemy wants to get you off course, get you off track, get you busy, get you distracted, take your joy, take your peace. And there's many, many ways that he can do that and disrupt your day. Take your joy, take your peace, get you frustrated and ruin your day. But if you make a decision right now and you say, Father God, I'm going to trust in you with my whole heart. I'm going to acknowledge you in all of my ways. And God, I know that your word says that you, you God, are going to direct, direct my path. And I do. I, I know that the word is true. And the Bible says that God is not a God that would lie. And I believe and I know and I'm confident that God is going to honor his word. Amen. So as you're drinking your coffee, you're trying to rush out the door and you're getting those kids off, stop just for a second. You say, you say, Pastor Andrew, I'm late. Listen, you're already late. A minute with God could change your life. It could affect you and your family and everybody around you. Stop for one second and I want you to pray. I want to encourage you to pray and speak Proverbs chapter three, verse five and six over your life and say this out loud. Say, I trust in you, Lord, with my whole heart and I lean not to my own understanding. And Father, I acknowledge you in all of my ways. And God, I'm trusting that you will direct my path. And as you're running out the door, be confident and know that God is going to be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. And you are going to be blessed abundantly today. Your kids are going to be blessed. And yes, the enemy might throw some things at you. He might try to, you know, get you to stumble or get you off track. But trust God quickly, quickly in those moments that the enemy tries to take you off course. Remember the prayer that you prayed and the word that you spoke over your life. That Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. God, I'm trusting in your word for myself, for my family, all day. Amen. I hope this has encouraged you, and I hope that you take the time to go throughout your day and pray and acknowledge God and give it and be thankful. Go through your day with a place in a place of gratitude from your heart. It says, Father, I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for the air that I breathe. I'm thank you. I thank you, God, for the sun. I thank you for the stars. Lord, I thank you for everything that you've created. Because let me tell you something, the Bible says today is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice <laughs> and be glad in it. Why? Not because we did anything grand, but because God is good and he blessed us with the day. Amen. Pray that prayer. Speak those words. Proverbs chapter 3, 5 and 6. If you don't have your Bible and you're in a hurry, be sure to keep your phone close. And if you feel discouraged, go back to this video, rewind it, watch it again, because the Bible says... The word will not return unto him void. This word will absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, work in your life. Amen. I want to pray for you real quick. Father, I just pray right now, God, that all those that are seeing this or hearing this, Father God, wherever they are in their day, whatever they got set before them, Father, I pray that Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, God, would just be made just abundantly, abundantly clear in their life, God, that they would see the joy and the peace and the, the goodness of you, Father. Lord, that you would begin to direct their path, Father God, and show them, Lord Jesus, that they don't have to be anxious for anything, but to be happy and full of joy today. Father, I pray a peace that surpasses all understanding over their lives right now, Father. In Jesus' name, we expect it, we believe it, and we receive it. Amen. I hope this has blessed you. Be sure to go visit my website, andrewgreenministries.com. Be a supporter. Be a friend. Go subscribe, andrewgreenministries.com. And I'll see you next time. Be blessed all day long.